Welcome back, folks, to Let's Me Play Ultimate Doom. And when last we left off, we're currently on Episode 4, Level 2, Perfect Hatred. And we're going to go through this teleporter and immediately run over here because there are a lot of imps and one invisible pinky demon from the wall behind us where we started. There's also some plasma ammunition there that we're going to be using at some point. But right now, we're just going to take care of all these enemies because we're going to be going back there very soon indeed. There's also a radiation suit down there. We'll remember where that is for later. For now, we're going to head in this direction and go and grab that plasma gun. And if you're thinking, gee, that's a great place for a trap, you're absolutely right, and the game thought of that by placing a trap there with four barons of hell. One in the area right by the plasma gun and three in this area here. Fortunately, if you're careful, you can position yourself in such a way that you don't need to uh, get into any danger of being hit by them, and you can shoot them back. Of course, some of your uh, shots will just hit the uh, corner of the wall there, but if you're prepared to be patient and use a lot of ammunition, this is a far more desirable way of taking care of them, or at least most of them, because the uh, final one you won't be able to take care of this way. One of them is down, and we'll take care of this one now, We'll take care of this one and then we'll use the uh, chain gun on the other one. It won't finish it off, but it will certainly deal a fair amount of damage. We need to be very careful. We don't need to worry about ammunition. We're going to be getting a lot more shotgun ammunition in a little bit. There's actually quite a lot on the, uh, the way back up to this area if you fall into the toxic goop beneath you. We may take advantage of that. For now, though, we're going to move a tiny bit this way and then we're going to use the chain gun! Ha <laughs> ha! It's not going to do that much, mainly because a lot of the bullets are going to uh, hit that bit of wall there, but we'll certainly soften up this enemy for our um, shotgun to take care of. There we go, and we're out of uh, ammunition for that, and we are not going to be using uh, the plasma gun just yet, not on this one. We'll use it on the other one though, certainly, because we're going to be getting a lot of ammunition for it. Alright, switch to the plasma gun, and here we go. Excellent, there's some right there, and we need to be very careful because we don't want to get hit here. We also want to be very accurate as well, because we want to save as much of this ammunition as possible. There we go, and a little bit more. There we are, and a little bit more, and this enemy is gone. Brilliant, we'll uh, grab that there. We'll, um, should we grab this? We'll grab this as well, because we won't be coming back to this area. We're going to go get that plasma ammunition though, and the uh, yellow skull key. We need that yellow skull key, because there is a switch over here that we can go and press. Alright, we'll just uh, go and press this, and then lots of enemies are going to be unleashed over there, so we're grabbing the radiation shielding, and we're going up here. Grabbing all this ammunition, this ammunition as well, and then we're going to take care of all of these lost souls, because the lost souls are an absolute pain. We'll take care of these first, and then we'll take care of the Barons of Hell. There are a lot of Barons of Hell on this level. There's also a Cyber Demon that we're going to have to take care of. Fortunately, we won't have to fight that Cyber Demon. Alright, we're going to use our rocket launcher here, because why not, eh? Three Barons of Hell? I'm sure I can take care of them, as long as I don't miss too much. Remember when at the, uh, the end of Episode 1, two Barons of Hell was the boss? Now three of them are just being thrown at us as part of the level. That is how uh, much more difficult this episode is. Alright, is that one gone? There is only one left now. We could actually use the uh, shotgun now, and I think that's a good idea. There is also a rocket launcher over there. If you hadn't grabbed the rocket launcher in the uh, first level, you'd only just be getting one now. There we go, we'll uh, grab this. We'll be going over there later. For now, we're going to uh, do a running jump over here, and there'll be a cacodemon. We're just going to use the plasma gun on it, because there is a lot of plasma gun ammunition here. There we go, there are also a, a few invisible demons down there. We're going to get them too, and dropping down here actually reveals a chainsaw, which is good because we can use the chainsaw there. We're not going to be using the chainsaw a lot here, because there are a couple, just a few, barons of hell down here. And by a few, I mean absolutely loads. That is not the only one. There's also one here as well. And getting hit by that Baron of Hell wasn't good, because uh, there isn't a lot of uh, health pickups down here. There's also a Cacodemon, if you didn't notice that there was one back there. We'll be uh, taking care of that in a moment. Right now, we're going to keep using the uh, Plasma Gun, because we have a lot of Plasma Gun ammunition down here. There we go, that one is gone. 
we're going to be uh, sticking with this gun just for the moment, because there are more enemies around here. Like, for instance, that one there. And there's also one here as well. Oh, careful. Nearly got hit by that there. That would have been unfortunate. That would have been very unfortunate indeed. We need to, uh, yep, get that enemy around here, and then take care of it. Oh, and we got hit there. That was unfortunate. All right, we'll grab this ammunition. There should be some more ammunition. There's also an enemy here that doesn't appear to be uh, able to attack us. That's okay, we'll attack it. Any more ammunition? There's some over there. We're going to be uh, using the plasma gun some more because of all of these lost souls. I have no patience for them, so I'm just going to hit them with this. There is a teleporter there, which is not good because they've all teleported away. There's also a barrel of hell here, which is not good. If I can avoid it, Oh dear, that is bad. The uh, Baron of Hell has teleported away. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to very quickly get away from it. Very quickly indeed. All right, here we go. Where is it? It's over, actually, I think. Oh, there it is. Need to be very careful. We managed to kill something by teleporting in. Carefully does it, very carefully does it, and that enemy is gone. We can go and get these medkits now, which is good. We do have what we need to progress, which is uh, the blue skull key. There we go. Very carefully head up here. We also have some rockets. We're just going to be using some shells on these enemies here, because we don't want to uh, waste all of the plasma ammunition we have. We also want to be grabbing that radiation suit at some point. Actually, probably the one over there. What we do want to do, though, more than anything, is we want to be careful, because the uh, Cyber Demon is over there. It's over there. Any enemies around there? No, I thought I heard one, but never mind, it was just my imagination. What we want to do is uh, that, um, that selected of enemies were meant to be the distraction. But um, we're just going to run, like this, and then we're going to run this way, and then just throw ourselves down here because there is a supercharge here that we can use to uh, very quickly get over here and retain most of our health, which is good. Because now these um, Cacodemons are going to come over here. It is the second time a selection of Cacodemons are going to come and try and get us, but this time we are better well equipped to take care of them. Hello, you! I have a plasma gun! Ha <laughs> ha! You stand no chance whatsoever, but they are going to try and be very sneaky and try and get around to uh, attack us on both sides, but we're going to be just as sneaky and take care of them. Ha <laughs> ha! This is one of the harder levels in the uh, episode. There are even more Cacodemons for us to take care of. We're going to use pretty much nearly all of our uh, ammunition there, but it is worth it. It is worth it because we have now gained a way to uh, take care of the Cyber Demon without having to fight it. All right. You'll eventually come this way, Cacodemon, and when you do, you will be doomed indeed. Doomed indeed. All right, we're just going to uh, shoot you with the shotgun a bit. You'll see a teleporter there, just to the left, uh, further along. That's what we're going to be using to uh, defeat the uh, Cyber Demon, because we're going to telefrag it. And now it is gone, and we get a BFG 9000, which is nice. There is also a secret that has just opened up there, but we're going to be going to get that in a little bit. We'll grab all this uh, ammunition here, which is why I wasn't worried about uh, using all that plasma ammunition. We'll grab these rockets as well. We're also going to be grabbing this too, because... Uh, ooh, I missed some rockets. There we go. We've got a few things that we uh, want to go and get, like that there. And we'll just have a quick look around here to see if there's anything else that I've missed. I don't think that there is, because what we want to do now is we want to go to the uh, secret level. The secret level is accessed by uh, telefragging the Cyber Demon. And then there'll be a door down there that will very briefly open when we uh, walk out of the area where the Cyber Demon is. And I've no idea why I went this way at all, because we actually want to go this way. There we go. If we're quick, we can go down here and get to the secret exit, which is over here. The other exit is uh, in the room with all that plasma ammo. We're going to save now, and that's called Crash, because that's exactly what the game did at one point. It crashed. And now we're going to move on to level three. And that is the secret level. This is the secret level uh, exit, and we got quite a few of the secrets. The uh, time that we used for this level is also not too terrible. There we go. It's 11 minutes, 12 minutes, 13 minutes, 14. Actually not that bad. We're going to be thrown into a situation with quite a lot of enemies right away. It's actually a really good idea just to use the plasma gun to uh, 
clear the way, because there are more than a few enemies like uh, Kaka Demons that you need to take care of. There we go. The situation is far more manageable now. We'll just uh, deal with, hello, there's an imp there. There's also a uh, invisible pinky demon. We'll just lure it into a corner here and shoot it. There are quite a lot of enemies on this level. This level, I think, being called Fear. All right, we'll just, uh, I think it's called Fear anyway. It is called Fear. Thought it was worth checking. Hello, other Kaka demon. How are you? We need to make sure that we don't lose all of our health here because uh, this level has a lot of enemies on it. Also, you need to be very careful when things like Kakademons die because some enemies like to shoot from uh, behind where things like Kakademons are. We're going to press these switches. Don't remember what they do. This level is a little bit vague. Ah, it opens this way. And there is a Baron of Hell you may have seen over there. We're going to be taking care of that Baron of Hell later. There are quite a few barrels here that we could uh, use to our advantage, but we're not going to just yet. As always, the shotgun enemies are some of the more annoying enemies because they don't have projectiles you can easily avoid. Come this way! I wish to defeat you with this plasma gun. Because why not, eh? We might as well, we have tons of ammo for it. And you are dead. Excellent. Just take care of you as well. This level's primarily here just to give us more ammunition and resources because uh, we already have all of the guns in the game right now on level two. Grab this, and uh, we could go over there and uh, try to get all that ammunition, but we'll do that in a little bit. We could actually just try now. Actually, trying that now from this angle isn't going to do very much, but doing it from the other angle certainly will. We're going to go this way right now and uh, defeat this imp. The imp is somewhere around here. Where is that imp? All the way over there. We're just going to blow these barrels up. The last thing we want to have happen is the uh, barrels to blow up on us, and then we uh, suffer a lot of damage. We just want to uh, run over here and grab this. And we actually don't need it, so uh, grabbing that was a little bit silly. Hello, lost soul. How are you? Are you going to try and charge at me? You're not? Excellent. Ah, uh, now you are. And now you are. Ooh, you actually ran into the exploding barrels. That is advantageous for me. We're going to go over here, and this actually did something quite useful. It telefragged an enemy. We're going to have to go this way, though, and most certainly fight our way out, because uh, being in the middle of this area isn't good at all. Not good whatsoever. We want to uh, head this way and get back out here. There we go, but telefragging that Baron of Hell was very handy. There we go. Just uh, defeat these enemies from a much better vantage point now. That Baron of Hell is actually rather annoying. It just sort of stays there and uh, starts throwing things at you as you're trying to clear this room. But uh, defeating it that way was far more effective. Goodbye, Kakodemon. You are soon to perish. Perish in one shot? There we go. It was actually two, but I'll claim it was one anyway. We could... Uh go over there and then try and get the other items on the, uh, actually going over there now might not be a terrible plan, but we'll do that only when, um, when we've got this key card, because we need this key card. Hello enemies over there, and that door is now open. We want to go into here, which brings us back to here, which isn't very good, so we're just going to, uh, oh, we're going to get a hit unfortunately a few times. We need to take care of you most certainly, and then we'll go this way, and head out the way we came avoiding getting uh, hit near those barrels. That would pretty much just kill us. We want to uh, defeat those enemies that were over there. We also want to head into this area at some point and uh, take care of all the foes that are there. There are a lot of uh, very nice areas. I think it was this area, actually, that we uh, wanted to go and find the enemies in. Hello, all of you. How are you? Are you trying to be very sneaky? Please don't try and be sneaky. I've had more than enough of sneaky enemies today open that door? We may never know. There is uh, one pistol zombie there who is now very dead. There's also this area. You can actually get into this area by using the uh, circular room that we were in before. There are also a few more enemies. We'll take care of them though, and we'll take care of these while we're here. Those lost souls are really desperately trying to get to me, but they just cannot do so. Not even one bit. That one nearly managed it. There is an imp here that managed to get to us, however and a pinky demon that managed to get to us too. It is now also dead. I wonder if we can get some more health pickups from in here. There are quite a few scattered around. You just want to sort of clear out every area one at a time. There we go, there's one stim pack. Uh, two stim packs, actually. Always nice to get. Any more? Well, we'll just blow that up there because we don't want to get killed by that, and we'll head this way. 
Might as well actually clear out this area. We are running low on shotgun ammunition. Any other enemies? Well, we'll get rid of this. There are actually enemies down here that we're going to uh, go and take care of, because there are a few things down here of note. There is only a med kit there, and you use this to uh, get this rocket launcher. You could actually have just walked up to go get that rocket launcher, but oh, hello! They were able to open the doors! They are very clever. We're going to have to try and defeat that foe. Where did that foe go? You know what? I'm not going to take any chances. Where did that lost soul go? Ah, the lost soul went back out the door. Well, now it is gone. That shows you for opening doors. Anything else? There is something down here that we definitely want. There is also a uh, lost soul. And I think a foe down here we're going to have to take care of. No, there's a rocket launcher, though. Rocket launchers are always nice. Excellent indeed. And I don't think any secrets there. Nope, none that I could see. So we're going to go into here now and find you. And then we're going to have to go... That leads to the area that we were in before. Remember this area with the, um, that lift? That is where this is. There's also some enemies over there that we're going to take care of. Or well, there would have been if we hadn't already killed them. So we're going to head in the other direction instead. Up here, where we will find a fair few enemies. And we're just going to use the plasma gun on them. Why not, eh? Best to use the ammunition that we have the most of, which for some reason right now is the plasma gun. There is also an invisible pinky demon I nearly walked into. Good thing I have the chainsaw. And a teleporter. We'll be back for that later. Hello, you! We're going to save ammunition by chainsawing everything. Except we're going to stop chainsawing everything now because that would be silly at this point. All right, any more enemies over here? There will most certainly be enemies. And we managed to uh, get a lot of ammunition there. One shot, eight rounds. There's also a, a box of shells there, which is good. Which is good indeed. Round here is a grand total of nothing, and we can use the door over there to get to that location. No point in uh, using any other way, I think. So we're just going to go through the door and take care of you. Hello, you! Don't worry, I'm coming to take care of you. We're also going to go grab that uh, ammunition now, because now it is safe to do so. There we go, we have that. We go back into here, and we press this switch to get out. There we are. And then we go all the way back round, and we'll get to you eventually. We could actually just go this way and get even more ammunition and nearly run out of the window. Don't run out of the window. It is a silly thing to do. I think it's this way that we need to go. Hello. Yes, it is indeed this way we need to go, because the enemies are coming to us. They really shouldn't be doing that. I'd have got to them eventually, but no, they were just being so impatient. All right, nothing in here at all of any importance. So we're going to head into uh, this door. Anything here? There will indeed be something here, like a cacodemon, and some much needed bullets to uh, go and use that chain gun later. There we go, we'll just, uh... and there are more enemies here, including another cacodemon. Gotta be careful, and nothing happened, but they can sometimes just decide to uh, fire a few shots off at you when you're uh, defeating a pinky demon. Right, are you gone now? You're nearly gone. You are gone. You're definitely gone. There's also uh, another Cacodemon over there. We'll be getting to that Cacodemon later. We need the uh, key card that we already have, which is handy. Okay. And that Cacodemon is actually coming to us. And the Lost Soul is as well. You know what? Nobody invited you. Nobody invited you. We're going to use the chain gun, I think. Chain gun! Ha <laughs> ha! Goodbye, Cacodemon. And the Cacodemon was gone. The end. I think it's now time to use the chainsaw. There is also a uh, lost soul down there. I saw you. You can't try and hide from me. Ah, good. You just uh, came to try and defeat me. Which is fine, because uh, we'll grab all this ammunition. And there's really not that much more of this level that we need to explore. We're going to this central area, though, certainly. Anything in here? Well, we could just jump down here. There are a few things of importance, like teleporters primarily. A selection of them, actually. One teleporter for each corner of the area. There's also something over here that um, we really want to uh, go and... Actually, no, that's not something we need to go and get. My mistake, one of the levels has a uh, secret that you have to sort of run across bits of wall to get to. It's not this one. I'm getting them all mixed up. Here, by the way, is your chain gun. Here also, by the way, is a uh, selection of rockets and a teleporter. I'm not sure I want to use that teleporter right now. I actually feel like just using the uh, door for the exit. 
Why not, eh? Can't hurt, we pretty much have a nice selection of ammunition, loads of shells, a fair amount of bullets, and uh, lots of plasma cells and every single weapon in the game. Why not just uh, use the exit? The exit over here, with one shotgun soldier guarding it. We're going to use that next time, however, because if memory serves, the next level just throws you straight into the fray, and we really don't want to uh, end the video straight in the middle of the fray. So I'll catch you next time, folks, for when we come back, we'll go to the third level of the fourth episode. We're already blazing a trail through it, and I have to be honest, it's a trail that is uh, much smoother than it normally is. Much smoother than it normally is. I'm waiting for it to go horribly wrong. The next level may be that point, because the third level of episode four is also very difficult. I know I've kept on uh, saying that each level is very difficult, but there are genuinely some easy levels in episode four. It just doesn't happen to be the first three of them for some reason. So I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.